Hey there, welcome to Technability. I am Berge. We are your source for no nonsense tech. And what we have here is an LG G2 on the left hand side and an LG G2 on the right hand side. Both of them are for their respective carriers. This uh, left hand side is the D802 unlock model. Right hand, right hand side is the Verizon model. If I just go and turn them around, you can see them right there in terms of the backs. All right, they look a little different because the Verizon and the international model do look slightly different. Verizon model, in fact, looks slightly different from all the models. In any case, uh, you have both G2s here. You are watching Technability. Thank you guys for watching. Check out technability.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got some great content. No nonsense tech, that's our moniker and we stand by it. So let's get straight to the point here. LG G2 left side, LG G2 right side. So what's the difference? Well, it's very simple. One of them is running CM. 11 4.4.2 and the other one is running stock LG software and that would be 4.2 uh, I believe it should be right here under software information it's 4.2.2 okay so you got one that has jelly bean and one that has stock KitKat all right see the difference here all right, let's go home on both. Okay, now obviously these are two fundamentally different systems and uh, I'm not going to get too in-depth into both, you know, what both entail because I've done so many videos on stock Android um, and I'm going to be doing a review of the G2 very soon, but I just wanted to go ahead and compare these two in, in, in a broad sense to show you guys that both are actually solid and beneficial in their own ways. Both have their own pluses and, in my opinion, benefits, but for the most part, um, KitKat and Jelly Bean, although different, they're kind of very similar in the same in the same uh, in the same light uh, now let me get to exactly what I mean by that now a lot of people will tell you that KitKat is super blazing fast and I'm one of them KitKat is definitely super blazing fast you could see entering an app exiting an app right it's super fast you still have that slight YouTube stutter but uh, in terms of just opening out of apps and panning through the screen uh, bringing down the notification the quick settings moving around widgets super fast right creating folders um, creating folders here, you can see how fast that is, changing the wallpaper, adding screens, you got scroll effect as well here with CM, and you could watch our individual CM review on the G2 for all of the features uh, that you get here with uh, CyanogenMod Mod 11 for the LG G2. So it's very fast and you got multitasking, you can of course just push that, close out everything at once. But with that said, uh, the G2 here with stock 4.2.2 is also pretty fast. I mean, you have the uh, pinch in effect. You could pinch out and get a look at the wallpaper here, notifications. Um, it's You can see it's super fast, opening out of apps. There's literally, you know, a slight stutter, but not really too prevalent. And if you long press on home, you get the multitasking. You could just push clear all, go home here. And you can also create folders by dragging an icon into another icon like that. See how those folders look, move around widgets, resize widgets. So pretty much the same system or concept, they just look different. And of course, LG adds certain features with their overlay. If you go to settings, you can see there's a multitude of settings here. You can actually switch the tab view here. Now you get these tabs up top. So you can see display, general, um, you got network settings. So you got display settings here. And network settings uh, on this one actually does have wireless charging on the Verizon model, which is unique. But you can see if you go to display, you have a multitude of different um, customizations, including font type. Uh, you could change the font type. You got font size, so you could change the font size. But if you go to CM, you can see if you go to home, for example, or let's go to interface, you got a multitude of interface options as well here with CM. So both have custom both are very customizable I mean you have customization options on both uh, you can see buttons and layouts you could you could uh, customize the buttons down here navigation buttons you can do the same here again with the uh, LG G2 with their stock software so really um, it's and you can see here here's the front button navigation or, or front button customization so really very similar and and LG you got to give them credit for adding these customizations very similar to what you get with touch was right but uh, there are moments where the LG overlay feels heavy. It feels kind of heavy, and even though it's fast, you'll notice that it kind of tends to get bogged down once you start downloading a lot of apps or you start utilizing a lot of various different, uh, uh, if, if you start multitasking to a certain extent, it starts slowing down. Um, now you can see here with Hangouts, if I was to go to, or you can see their messaging app. Here's my Hangouts right here. Okay, and I could just type. Very fast, and same here, hey. How are you today? And you do have a swipe. Okay, so you should have the ability to swipe here. Over here, you can enable it. So, you know, I mean, both have good keyboards. I prefer the stock Google keyboard. I think it's more responsive. I like the sound better. 
Uh, this one, it's responsive, but in my opinion, it's not as responsive. And for whatever reason, the keys are a bit too small for me. Um, so I do prefer the stock keyboard. I like the emojis here with stock Android keyboard as well, which you could download from the Play Store, by the way. Um, and over here, you get a bunch of different options as well. So you can see ABC, and you got the emojis right here. So uh, similar, but in my opinion, I do still prefer the stock keyboard to any overlay keyboard that 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 they offer. And of course, there are third-party options as well that you could download in the Play Store. All right, so you can see here. Um, you got the keyboard, obviously. Now with uh, Hangouts, you could just gesture back. Over here, you don't have the gesture effect, but you do have the ability to uh, change the uh, background of each text. You can see the conversation theme. Uh, you could change that. You could change the bubble type and the wallpaper type. Whereas with Hangouts, it's kind of like what they give you. But Hangouts is really, in my opinion, um, the future of messaging for Android. It's the present and the future, and I, I really prefer Hangouts. Uh, to any uh, stock messaging app that you get. And the great thing about CM is it comes with both. So you get Hangouts and you get messaging. So if you're not a fan of Hangouts, hey, you could use the stock messaging app. Now going to the dialers here, you can see the dialers respectively. All right, so it's a little bit more colorful, a little bit more skeuomorphic shadows and gradients here with the LG overlay. Whereas with stock Android, it's just a little bit more simplistic. All right, let's go ahead and close out of all the apps and you can see the multitasking difference. Here you hold down the home button. You can see nothing's multitasking here. You close out. Let's go ahead and just open some apps and it's just apps and see which one opens and closes faster. All right, so Chrome on both. Of course, they're the same hardware. So you got the 2.26 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 800 with two gigs of RAM, Adreno 330 GPU. So um, they're very similar in that regard. Now, in terms of camera, um, you know, obviously they both have the 13 megapixel camera, but you're going to get more features here with LG's overlay. All right, that's just a given. Um, it just, you just get better, you know, in my opinion, it's more features. Uh, the software enhances the experience. I also like the ability to just kind of push right here to switch to front facing. Whereas with the stock one, you got a long press and then do that. But the quality is better on LG's model uh, or, you know, the LG's overlay, in my opinion. Here you have panorama, you have camera and video. You don't have photosphere, which you get with the Nexus KitKat. Uh, but here you can see all the different options that you have. You have scene options. You have all these different types of shooting options as well. Over here, you do have the ability to enhance. You can see where it says enhance. So, and then there should be filter if you go on enhance and yeah you can see the filters right here so you know it really you know I, the quality does tend to get a bit bogged down when you switch over to CM and stock Android because LG and a lot of these overlays come with special camera options that they offer so it's different but you can see the notification systems here you got the toggles up here for whatever reason I can't seem to enable toggles on CM whereas in the past they give you the ability but you could enable the quick settings you could add and remove quick settings panels here um, over here with the quick settings you could see actually I don't think the quick settings this is 4.2.2 but in any case the notifications you get the toggles you see right here it's Q slide apps you can actually disable that if you don't want it there alright so you can disable Q slide apps uh, you also have the ability to you know adjust these toggles so that's cool I like the I like the toggles of course you could go into the Play Store and just download third-party toggles anyway so it's really up to you uh, how you want to proceed with that now in terms of quadrant I was able to get about a you know, 14, 15,000 on the G2 with stock. Whereas with CM, I was able to get about nine to 10,000. So uh, it's probably an optimization thing. Okay, Google. Navigate to Pasadena, California. One is on Wi-Fi, one is on LT, 4G for Pasadena. Pasadena. But you can see both respectively are um, Good systems, in my opinion. I mean, it really depends on whether you want stock or whether you want all these features LG gives. One thing I will say about stock 4.4 CM11 is that it doesn't slow down. It doesn't get bogged down when you download apps. Whereas with the stock LG, it kind of does. But nonetheless, they're both really good systems. I mean, I can get into a lot of different features here, third-party apps and whatnot. I'm not going to. I'll get into that in another video if you guys have questions. Um, otherwise, thank you guys for watching Technability. I am Berge. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out www.technability.com. Uh, we do have an individual CM11 video that we're going to be posting. If you haven't seen it, it's in the channel. Go ahead and check that out for the G2 so you get all the features there. It's an in-depth video. And in relation to the stock, we're going to be posting an in-depth video uh, just basically reviewing the G2 as well. So thank you guys for watching Technability. I am Barrage. This was a quick uh, comparison between CM11 on the G2 and stock on the G2. All right, thank you guys for watching. Have yourself a good weekend.